Hey all, how are you doing? It's Easter weekend um, and we're gonna do a little bit of meat prep this weekend. We've already got some tasty meatballs on the go but we forgot to uh, record those ones. So today we're gonna go over bacon wrapped venison. This particular piece here is a uh, whitetail um, ham, like the, the thigh. I think a lot of you guys probably recognize the cut of that. Um, and then what you're asking you need, two, well, we think two packs of bacon, obviously depending on the size of your meat. Uh, and then like, you know, your, your uh, herbs and spices to taste. So we've got a garlic seasoning, um, rosemary and thyme, uh, and then we're gonna rub it down in walnut oil as well. And then I think on top of that, we'll put a little bit of salt and pepper. Here it comes now. <laughs> salt and pepper on top of it as well. So um, the first thing, first thing we've got to do is uh, take off some of the, you know, just gonna clean the meat up a little bit. This has come straight, you know, out of the freezer. So you just wanna, sort of whip any of the sinew and stuff off like that. Like, you know, I take this whole piece here off just to tidy the meat up. But because it's gonna get slow cooked too, it doesn't matter as, as much. Like if you were frying it or, or um, you know, cooking it over the hot hot grill, then you'd wanna, you'd really wanna get that piece out. But um, yeah, this is gonna be pretty damn cool. Um, so yeah, second ever cooking video. Got the, got the whole family watching today. There's Wyatt, my wife, Yenny, and little Jackson in the background. Jax! Hey! Hey! <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a family affair. So yeah, I'm gonna clean this up. Sharp knife, clean it up, uh, and then you'll see me back again after that. So now that we got all the meat cleaned up, like as you can see down here, there wasn't a lot come off. I didn't get super um, finicky, it just kind of got the, the worst of it off. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is rub it in walnut oil first, like both sides, um, just to get like something to for all the seasoning to stick to basically. Uh, and then, um, yeah, we'll just put salt and pepper on uh, and uh, all the spices, uh, and then we'll wrap it up in bacon. So, uh, and then, We'll get to that later, but this one is best if you let it sit overnight, uh, just so like really everything can infuse, I think, as the uh, professional chefs would say. So yeah, let's, I mean, literally, you know, <laughs> you may hear our son Jacks in the background there, We're massaging that meat, and a bit of a slap, loves it. No, but um, you know, if you guys have heard me say this before, I don't, uh, I don't think I'm a great cook, so, you know, I'm just gonna show you how easy cooking is, right? If I can do it, you guys can do it. Um, so yeah, this is, look at that. There we are, that's done. It's all rolled in, uh, in walnut oil. It smells great. It gives it like a bit of a nutty texture, you know? Like you might read it on the back of a bottle of wine. Slight hint of nutty texture. So yeah, now, I just have this, uh, I'm, I'm a big, I don't like oil in my hands, so quickly give that a wash off. And now, um, yeah. Salt, pepper, and thyme, and what else was it? Rosemary and garlic. So yeah, let's uh, let's get this on there first. Yeah, it's gonna be the enough gauge. It's never enough with salt. <laughs> never enough salt. Crack pepper. Look at that. So again, we're gonna flip this on its uh, out of the way. We're gonna flip this on its. So, you know, flip it over uh, upside down soon anyway. But, more. 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 Jeepers. More. I'm a, I'm a, uh, That's just the one side. You I'm, missed the spot there. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of the opposite of Yenny. I like to have the minimal amount of stuff. Uh, rosemary. So oh, that. oh, nay, in your hands. And oh. Oh. You want me to roll this one out too? I want you to do like that so you crack it open and open up all of the extra spices and See, stuff. See, look at this. You know, I tell you guys that I told Tim this already, this is actually Yeni's recipe, it's not mine. But, um, you know, the whole point is I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, all right? So what have we got there now, Yeni? This is the thyme. This is the thyme now. So that was rosemary before, it's right, uh, thyme. So grind it up in your hand, which is what I forgot to do before. Mm -hmm. It really um, gets it all going. That is absolutely covered, Yeni. Yes, and smoosh it in a bit. Yeah, it's definitely smushed in. Good, and now you flip it around. ka -ching. Um my hand a quick once again. So 
start with salt and pepper to start with. <coughs> oi, 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 sorry. Okay. This is going to be crazy tasty, maybe. Oh, we want it to be tasty, right? Mm -hmm. Pepper. Garlic. Salt, right? No, it's seasoning. No, it's just garlic. It's just garlic, ground garlic? Huh? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Time. Rosemary. Perfect. Now Perfect. massage it in a little bit. But slapping. Slap, yeah. You gotta slap me. I think this is what every guy does. Right? Mm -hmm. Feels good. All right. Um, so now I'll wash my hands off and uh, you'll see us back when we're doing the bacon wrap. So um, it turns out I wrap bacon wrong. So this is how you do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> probably going to do it wrong as well. last time because we still want bacon on it but mm -hmm. it well didn't really matter how it looked because it's the bottom we're gonna need another package of bacon package of bacon mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so Bacon in this one on the bottom. Oof. Okay, so what was that one, one more time? So, we, 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 hang on. So, we've run out of bacon now. We haven't run out of bacon, we've got more bacon, but it turns out we need more than two packets. So, we're gonna have to defrost another packet quickly. But basically, look at that, it looks beautiful. So, now um, I think Annie was saying that we'll just, we'll just layer the bacon in the bottom of this actually, and then just put it on top. Is that correct, yeah. Annie? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so um, yeah, and then it sits overnight covered. Um, just so he doesn't dry out. Um, and on it. yeah, a little bit of glad wrap over the top. And then uh, we cook it tomorrow. So yeah, like I mean, I think most of you guys know, as long as you leave stuff, especially marinades and things like that, um, the bit of the flavors get into it. So um, especially with stews and you know, lasagna is always better than things stay right. Right? All right. Maybe we'll flip it over anyways. There we go. Are you gonna flip it over anyway? Yeah, I changed my mind. Oh. Turns out we're changing our mind. Hey, I'm a woman, I'm allowed to. And also I met his wife, I'm totally allowed to. Good <laughs> evening. Yeah, this is the one making all the noise over there. Hey Jax. Hey? Also on the bacon. <laughs> I'm not doing it as pretty on the underside because we just need a taste here. Okay, so so one side's the presentation. Oh yeah, for sure. One's for show. And one's for taste and presentation. Yeah, and probably actually helps to lock the moisture in too, which is the main, the main point of the bacon. You didn't much miss much for the battery cut out, but basically, um, you know, let's have a recap. The bottom's wrapped as well, but it doesn't need to be as pretty because apparently this, this, you know, one side for show, salt, uh, rosemary, and thyme is what we used, and then we also used the garlic uh, on there as well. So um, yeah, pepper and salt as well. So now um, we'll just put glad wrap over the top of it, let it sit in the fridge for the night, uh, and then cook it tomorrow. So yeah, uh, see you tomorrow basically. So it is the next day, and it's in the morning. Well, it was it two quarter past ten? And so you know, sat. I had plenty of time to let all the uh, all the bits and pieces. 
Pull <laughs> the bits and pieces, uh, sorry, all the seasoning, you know, set and stuff like that. Even smelling it now, it smells really nice, so. Yeah, and then um, it's as easy as, you know, getting the oven up to 100, uh, putting it on normal. Uh, yeah, and then uh, putting it in and checking it in five, six hours, something like that. And then, uh, yeah, that's a good point too. If you've got one of these, it's good. You want to get the inside temperature about 50 degrees. I'll um, make sure that I get, uh, you know, all the Fahrenheit um, uh, conversions for you, for Americans and stuff on your, your freedom units. But yeah, Mama. easy as that. So yeah, and you, you know, you can even do it with the family rooms. So it's uh, been nearly six hours now, actually. We, once the uh, oven got hot, we lowered it down to about 60. Uh, and you can see that it's just over 50 there. That one there, so that's good. Should be nice and ready. Beautiful. So uh, we'll let that, let that sit for a little while now and uh, yeah, just rest and then we'll start cutting it up just before we're ready to, uh, to serve it. But it's looking good. And uh, yeah, I mean, the, the bacon's kind of nice. It's like just firm, but still got a little moisture in it. It's making me dribble just thinking about it. So it's um, out of the oven now and uh, it's probably rested 20, 30 minutes or something like that. Um, so last thing to do is uh, cut it open and see what it looks like. It feels nice and tender. Oh, yum. Look at that. <laughs> Excuse my fingers, but check that out. That is absolutely cooked to perfection. So yeah. Easy as that, ladies and gentlemen. I'll uh, take it out like that. <laughs> so there's only one more thing we're gonna do before we say goodbye. And that is you know, a bit of a taste test, but there's one little man here who's been dying to try it. This is Jax. Jax has already had his vegetables, so he's been good, and now he can have his meat. So we've just cut off a teeny little tiny piece of it here, and uh, we'll put it in this so we can suck on it. He does, he's just got his first tooth coming through, so he's not really good at that, uh, <gasps> but yeah. Oh, hey. <gasps> <laughs> What do you think about that? Hmm? Nigot? Oh, hey. <laughs> there we go. So I hope you like that. Again, I'm not Flash. You guys know that. Um, the idea is this is just simple cooking. You guys can do it if I can do it. The only thing that's too complicated on this is probably the bacon weaving. But we worked out that you can probably do that flat on a flat um, chopping board first and then just lay it over the top afterwards. That'd be much easier. You can just lay it, lay it out on a nice flat piece, lift, lift it up, or even just flip it on top of the bacon and it's done. Oh yeah, if you like that, please, you know, a like, subscribe, uh, you, know, you know all that stuff. Give us, please give us your support. It really means the world to us. Thank you very much. See you next time.